huge congrats on the movie. Thank you. I watched it late last night. I don't know if that's a good thing, but... Uh, <laughs> I but think it was, that's a good time to watch it. Was, it. Uh, it, was, it was a very, very good experience. Been in more than one midnight section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, I was just talking to, uh, actually, the guys outside about how... Uh, from the trailers and stuff, this looked like a kind of purge movie, a kind of horror movie. What like do kind men of stuff. say about this movie when <laughs> they are left to their own devices? I really would like to know. <laughs> um, I, I guess, it, you know, in terms of the, the clips I saw, it was like a purge movie. Actually, it's so much smart, more smarter than that. Yeah. Uh, just wondered what your kind of reaction was when you first read it, because it is, it is crazy, but also very, very intelligent. I felt that the craziness was rooted in, you know, representations of teenage girls that felt real and not sanitized. You know, so often we see representations of teenage girls that are, you know, marketed toward teens and below and, you know, have to pass certain levels of respectability and, you know, no profanity, no sex, no drugs. And, like, it doesn't it, it doesn't end up being accurate, accurate. You know, 13, 14, and 15, and 16-year-old girls are, you know, kind of leading some rated R lives in some cases. That's just how it is. Yeah. So I the 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 text was so candid and so reflective of how I talked to my friends and how I talked to my friends when I was a teenager. I wasn't quite sure how Sam pulled it off. I wanted to dismiss the script entirely just based on who wrote it, but that prejudice was... Um, very soon to be debunked. Yeah. I mean, it's visually so, so rich, but then obviously it's got all these things going on underneath. I mean, what was it about Sam as a person when you, after you read the script and met him, what did he kind of sell you on? Because, I mean, it's just so rich and there's so much going on in the well, movie. Well, after I got the part, he sent me this email, this in incredible, heartfelt email that I'll never forget where he just said... I am here for you, and I'm so excited that you're doing this. If there's anything you need, anything you feel, anything you want to talk about, any concerns you have, whether it's about the script or about the filmmaking or about anything that happens on set, I am here for you, and you're steering the ship, and I just want to support you. And there were things in the script I wanted to talk to him about, which I did, and there was there were one or two things that happened during the filmmaking process that I wanted to talk about and we did there was something that happened on set nothing terrible that I did want to talk to him about and he made good on his promises I think that the way he humbled himself during throughout the whole process is you know not just something he should be commended on but is basically a requirement if you're Sam and you're making this film you know I feel like the stakes are so high for who can make what and who can say what and, you know, who has the rights to what story. But if there is um, empathy and um, a sense of humility permeating the process, I think that it is possible to collaborate along those, you know, outside of those lines. And the other great thing about the movie is, is the friendship between the four of you, which is yeah. so, so strong. I mean, was that something that between the four of you, you were able to grasp very quickly or was I don't know, it? I don't know how it happened. I mean, we, we bonded. We bonded pretty quickly. You know, Sam brought us all to New Orleans in the middle of Mardi Gras and he let us loose for a night or two and he said, just go out, go get in trouble. And so that's what we did. And we went on all these adventures together and um, these are three lifelong friends of mine, I think. Four of you include Sam. We had fun. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, know, I know the film's obviously been um, compared to other films kind of similar, like Heather's obviously in Spring Breakers and yeah. stuff like that. But it's it's a different beast than that. I mean, what would you say to people that go in expecting Well, I those welcome movies? those comparisons. I yeah. love those films. Um, I mean, I think that um, those films are fun. And I think this film is also quite fun. The serious themes are real. And... We are trying to provoke some thoughts, but I just want girls to go out and see this with their friends and, sh like, you know, share buckets of popcorn and spike their slushies. Like, this is a midnight movie. And, you know, I mean, guys can come too. That's okay. But, um, you know, outside of the fun, I do think that it... um 
it paints a really candid and detailed picture of, um, you know, what righteousness means in America and what ide the way ideology is, you know, stratified and polarized and then interfaced in these really intense ways with the internet. And then the internet sort of comes to life and whether you're liberal or conservative, I think that there is um, a greater level of mindfulness, perhaps, that you could aspire to, um, or you must aspire to in this age where it's so easy to get um, you know, sucked into just a limited circle of your own worldview and so easy to depersonalize the millions and millions of people who subscribe to the ideologies that you disagree with. I don't think that's right. I think that it it's all about building bridges and having conversations. And my character throughout the course of the film goes from, you know, coming from a place of point blank dismissal and disdain for the people who she sees to be opposed to her. And then at the end, she's able to f find something inside of her to spare and empathize with even people who would threaten her physical safety. And I think that coming from that place and operating from that place is a more sustainable way to be in this time where we're kind of encouraged to do the opposite. Yeah. Well, listen, it was a real pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for your yeah. time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.